Welcome to the only podcast that lets you hear real employers talk about their jobs and tell you what it's like to work there. I'm your host, Chris Russell. This Jobcast will feature the personal experiences of two employees who begin their careers at Intel Corporation. Intel is the world's largest semiconductor company and has its headquarters based in Santa Clara, California, with offices located worldwide. Joining us now are Adriana and Luis from the Intel Guadalajara Design Center in Mexico. Adriana and Luis, welcome to Jobs and Pods. Nice to have you. Thank you. Can you tell us a little about yourselves, uh, including your uh, what your current role is and how long you've worked for Intel? I guess we'll start with Adriana. Go ahead. My name is Adriana. I'm a psychologist, and I joined Intel in November 2005. And right now, I'm studying an, a master's degree in HR. My role at Intel is administrative assistant to a general manager. I'm also in charge of the internal communications and supporting on some human resources issues. Luis, how about you? Hello, Chris. Well, thank you for this invitation. My name is Luis Armenta. I'm originally from Acapulco. I actually did my undergrad in electrical and electronics engineering in, in the National University of Mexico, Mexico City. Then I graduated from uh, the University of Waterloo, where I got a, a master's in science degree. I actually joined Intel in 2005. And well, nowadays I work uh, as a research engineer in the field of signal integrity and novel dielectric materials in the Systems Research Center Mexico, which depends of uh, Intel Labs, that is the research organization within Intel, where um, we create the technology of the future. Okay, excellent. I'm curious, uh, can each of you tell us how you came to join Intel? And sort of looking back, what do you remember most about your first experiences there? Adriana? Okay, I came as a recent private college through the referral program, and I, I had just a previous experience as an intern in a big uh, electronic company, and the first week was really <laughs> difficult for me at Intel. Uh-huh. I was really nervous. The job was new, and I had no experience, but um, I found some old friends from school, so after a week, I felt like home again. Excellent. How about you, Luis? Well, actually, I knew about Intel because I got an email from the Mexican National Science and Technology Council mm-hmm. because in that moment I was the, uh, a scholar from that council. And then well, in, in that email, they pointed out that Intel was looking for people to open a research lab here in Mexico. And for my supplies, well, I, compri- I complied with all requirements and skills required for, for one of the positions there. So it was very interesting because I, I just think about that, thought about that, and said that it was just going to change my cubicle from Canada to Mexico, and I was going to do the same stuff that the one I was doing in Canada. So I, I submitted my application, and after two weeks, I had an interview in Oregon, and after one week, I got an application to be hired as an Intel employee. So as, you, as I said, I came here as an RCG, then I had a two-month uh, training in, in Oregon, and uh, where I met all my peers, and I had a very good time there, uh, because I, since at the beginning, I felt that I was at, like at home. And, um, well, once I, I, I came back to Canada, I had the chance to meet the local people here and uh, and meet the rest of the local crew over here. Mm-hmm. Louis, in talking with your, your college friends, what would you say make, uh, makes the work experience at Intel different uh, from other country, companies in Mexico or even other countries? Intel, for sure, um, is a great place to work. I, I think that um, compared to some other companies here, it's, it's a place where you can imagine and apply your, your knowledge and even more create like unrealistic technology. It, I think that is like where science and technology uh, merge to create the most incredible products in the world. Um, in a few words, I think that is where our dreams can come true. And uh, if there's someone there out there that loves technology and wants to create something wonderful for everybody, well, welcome aboard. I think that Intel is the right place for, for, for you. Adriana, how would you uh, compare working at Intel from other companies in Mexico? I think Intel is a very legal company, and we have great benefits and a lot of things other companies don't have in Mexico. So do you guys have the ability to really um, network with peers and, and other sites or other countries around the world? Can you talk a little about your experiences in that regard? For example, I'm, I work with different people around um, Latin America, mm-hmm. especially with people in Costa Rica and Argentina. Yeah, well, uh, as Adriana pointed out, I, because of our daily work, we have to interact with many people uh, from the U.S., and in my case, especially from Oregon and Arizona. And um, 
Uh, let me tell you that nowadays I'm part of a multinational consortium, which is called the INAMI, the International Electronics Manufacturing Initiative. And I, I do work as an Intel representative there. And it's very interesting because in that place I had I have to interact with people from South Korea, from Taiwan, China, Japan, and the U.S. And it has been a very nice experience to understand more about their backgrounds and local customs, and even more to speak and transmit the message across the group. It has been a challenge, but uh, overall it has been a very nice experience, and even more to understand their, their accents. What's life like in Guadalajara? Um, can you talk about working at the Intel Guadalajara Design Center there, Adriana? Okay, I was born here, so I like the city. Mm -hmm. I think it's a beautiful city and people are very friendly. We have um, many people from different places in the country, like Luis, and from other cities. And I think they can uh, confirm that Guadalajara is a friendly city. And about Guadalajara Design Center, I think it's a a great place to work. Um, It's a place with great opportunities for growing. Uh, For example... When I joined almost five years ago, we were 100 employees. Right now, we are around 400, and we continue growing. Right. How about you, Luis? Yeah, well, I agree with Adriana. Actually, um, I'm not from here, but I think that Guadalajara, for me, is one of the best cities in Mexico to live. Mm -hmm. It it has one of the highest standards of living in the country. And overall, it's a very, very nice uh, city. It's a beautiful city where you are going to find always something to do and have fun. And people in general... At Adriana, they are very easy going, and uh, well, the social atmosphere is, is simply great. And and about the the Intel Guadalajara Design Center, um, yeah, as, as Adriana pointed out, when we joined, we were like 60 to 70, uh, 70 engineers. Wow. Right now, we are about five, almost 500, wow. and uh, this this growing means like more opportunities uh, for for everybody and in the coming future. What attracted both of you to Intel, and um, what motivates you to, to come to work every day? Yeah, for example, I like the casual work environment. We don't have a dress code. I like that. Uh, we have a lot of benefits. I also said that Intel is very legal, very ethical. Uh, for example, right now I am studying my master's degree mm-hmm. uh, with the Intel Tuition Reimbursement Program. And, for example, every day... We have new challenges. Every day is different. The job is never boring. I like that. I I would like to add that um, Guadalajara has has a very nice weather. (laughs) 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 Yeah. Uh, In Spanish, we have in the past that Guadalajara was the never-ending spring city. But uh, for other countries, it means summer, summer weather. Okay, Luis? Well, actually, what attracted me to Intel was Intel by itself. Uh, just just to think about that Intel as uh, the technology standard of excellence and what Intel is as uh, the Intel the, the right place to to work to create real technology and what Intel means to the world. Intel also well, is the place where you can um, uh, propose new ideas and where everybody gets the, to contribute. There are uh, flexibility, the work for the work schedule, mm-hmm. and uh, even you can work from home if you if you want to. And um, you have uh, the opportunity to deliver conferences across the country and across some other uh, countries, which is very interesting. And uh, I think that every single morning I wake up thinking that such a lucky guy I am to work in the best company of semiconductors in the world, where I think that we create the most advanced technology across the globe. And uh, in, in simple works, I think that Intel makes me feel great. Well, that's terrific, Lewis. So, last question. If a student or a recent college grad were uh, interested in starting their career at Intel, uh, where can they go for more information or to apply? Well, you can visit our student center on the jobs at Intel site at intel.com slash jobs slash students to learn more or to check out opportunities and apply. If you don't find an opportunity that interests you at this time, you should consider creating a candidate profile so you can be considered for future positions. And that will do for this edition of Jobs and Pods. Adriana and Luis, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank Thank you. you. And for more Jobcasts like this, visit jobsandpods.com. Don't forget you can subscribe to our Jobcasts on iTunes. Thanks for listening.